Howdy chaps and welcome back to another fantastic episode. I can't actually tell you if it's going to be fantastic just yet. I just am hopeful. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've made a bit of progress after work every night on this uh, green, slowly turning black monstrosity that I have here. Uh, and I have made some progress. I will note that I have made a, s not, an, not a mistake, but a wrong choice in repairing something that I probably should have just fixed the other thing. Anyway, I'll show you in a minute. It's all good, but whoopsies. <laughs> anyway, let's get into showing you what I've done. All right, I'll start with my uh, <coughs> slight whoops. Um, <laughs> Initially, I stared at both doors and thought, yes, I'm going to fix the green one. Uh, but if you'll notice closely, that bit's cut out, that bit's cut out, that bit's cut out. And I'm going to actually cut some more of the side out of that. So I was like, well, I've gone too far now. But if those bits needed to go into the other door, that tells me that this door was better than the other door. So, <laughs> Whoops! Oh, it's too late now. I've already uh, gone too far to come back, um, which means I've already put those pieces in the other door, which now makes that door better than this door. But uh, really study your panels, guys. Really, I should have taken the skin off this door and the other one and then compared them. But you know, occasionally, you know, it's not. I didn't do anything wrong. I just made the wrong choice. So it's sort of like, oh, whoops. Oh well. Moving right along. Shame. That was actually. Aside from being, okay, I admit, internally that was a lot worse, dirty and rusty looking. Um, and that's an XY door, and that door over there is actually an XW door. And there is a few little differences, but yeah, in hindsight, maybe I should have fixed that one. <coughs> Let's not talk about that. But here we go. Oops, I won't go running into it too far. Move my camera stand. Uh, looking pretty good. <laughs> I need to get some more bolts. I'm a bit short on the uh, longer bolts. You know how these paddle bolts are quite long? Got to get some more of them. Uh, this is a bit of a bummer, really. Um, bugs me. So obviously I know I'm going to be putting a passenger front door on. So what I've done is I've hacked the frame off the left front door for the right rear door. Because if you flip it around, it's the same piece. It's over here. Oop, see? Yeah, not just a clever face. Whoopsies. So that's gonna obviously be chopped and joined and put in there. So it's the same. And I think that's been caused because this was a Fairmont had chrome on it, and that door was a Falcon 500 door. Clearly, no chrome. Um, so moisture never got trapped behind this one, but it did on this one. God, I wish they'd made rear doors. I really do. Full doors. So, yes, I've got frame to do and a little bit of channel work uh, on that door, but I wanted to get the skin on. So I did all the framework and um, stuff required to put the skin on. The hinges are a little seized up, but here we go. So, looking lovely. Gee, these skins fit well. I'm gonna... Eh, shut your bastard. <coughs> uh, the skins, I mean, they're not perfect. I'll admit, like, that's lined up there, and it's a little bit off here, so, like, the fold between here and here is a little bit shorter than this one, uh, and down there. So, like, the bottom of the skin's lined up, but when you go up to the style line, they're a little bit out from each other, so I'm like, um, well... So, yeah, basically, the doors are lined up, as you can see. There, and there, and at the bottom, but the middles are a little bit off from each other. So just a heads up when you're dealing with these skins, they're not perfect, so take that with what you will. I need to clearly change the shape of the bottom of the dog leg to pull it that way a little, um, but not too bad. And of course I obviously need to hammer in, or if I push that in as far as it goes, it needs, see it doesn't, it's completely smooth through here. It doesn't have that 
raised ridge here so I need to actually change the shape of this um, because that is actually a really badly made dog leg section oh my phone's ringing I'll come back to you in a second always happens while I'm filming a phone call but anyway just got to reshape the dog leg because it's a really badly made piece uh, but all in all clearly it still needs some tweaking but all in all it's not bad and I did put the catch and stuff in here watch this Ooh yeah oh, nothing shuts nothing quite as good as a door that shuts properly hmm. awesome <laughs> oh and you might notice that I've actually put the top on this quarter panel I saved it off the XY I mean it's all looking a bit what are you doing Graham but I'm like there is a method to my madness and because I needed to know because that's such a funky shape there I needed to actually put the top back on obviously I'm gonna go across here and chop the rust off and fix that rust but at least it gives me the top of the quarter panel because obviously it was cut through there and that was all missing so and I know under there is actually pretty good so it wraps around and whatnot so that I might do today and this thing's been bugging me for ages so I might do that but we're all progressing along I just thought I'd show you how well the uh, the door fits beautifully Whew. unbelievable the rear skin that's a really good fitting piece um, those not so much but those mm-hmm mm-hmm yes I'll have some of them front doors pretty much perfect there is a few little manufacturing tweaks that need to happen but all in all not bad um, definitely definitely worth the money after doing that to the rear door because <clears throat> um, that took more than five minutes but gee look how good she's looking once I get this quarter panel fixed there'll be no there'll only be a little bit of bog around the edges and stuff to make it blend in a bit better probably won't have to do hardly anything to the front door seal panel will be perfect dog leg needs a bit of tweaking and obviously record it it's gonna be looking pretty darn good actually just keep staring back at it yeah yeah the panels might be a bit expensive but absolutely worth every cent um, so anybody who's thinking about putting uh, some of those doors on I'd do it and I have well dad did but yeah definitely worth doing because they're pretty good um, so that's enough of an intro I think we should start by I might do this because this is you know pretty easy I can stand up to do this I'm gonna cut across here drop that piece of rubber off and make this little piece here so it's just a couple of folds on a flat piece and trim it's gonna be a bit of an odd shape but I think I'll do that first and then I can make a new outer piece for there now that's kind of suck because that's a weld on a flat panel with zero support behind it so I will be guaranteeing that a warp in one way or the other but I sort of knew this quarter panel was going to end up with some bog in it because of the fact that it was so heavily butchered at day one so and then of course we've got this issue up here but that's about it and then once that's done that's done that's done I don't need to do any more until the roof comes off because mm, I don't need to uh, and then that that there's a bit in there not bad that guard yeah no we're look, looking pretty good for this side I think at that rate after that's done and that's done we could probably drop it back down the ground uh, scratch that reverse it go do that first anyway I'm just rambling to myself uh, I'll see you in a second once I've figured out where I'm headed and now it's raining so I've got my new piece folded up and I've just sort of reattached the microphone <laughs> uh, so I've just sat it on there I'm gonna weld that up that's not big enough to be a problem um, but I'll cut all that out so what I've done made my template set it on top got my copper spray uh, it's really expensive paint so possibly not the best thing but it does mean it does make a really good outline so it gives you a rough guesstimate so I'm gonna actually cut the top off I haven't done the side because I think I might um, try and weld that up and I'm gonna try and weld that up too 
Um, so I weld that definitely, cut this out, and then I'll try and uh, weld that gap there. Shouldn't be too hard, and that'll solve all that issue. Um, I don't really want to have to make a whole new piece of there, but I reckon with a bit of time and patience with the welder, I could actually weld that gap up because it's only a, it's only a little spot. And then that'll be that done, and then we could just go up there and do that bit. But after we do this, I'm going to do the quarter panel side because that should be because that's the quarter panel there comes up there's a little recess in there it runs along there so that's where the quarter panel goes to so it should go up across and then just hang in this area because when the gutter which you can see there's a little remnants there I always leave myself a little bit of a as a guide so the gutter is underneath the roof here but the, when it gets to here it switches and becomes on the underneath like so it's under the roof but here it's on top of the roof effectively so the roof skin continues along and sort of sits exaggerated like that but sits like that and the gutter no longer is under it but is on the outside so it's much easier to replace the outside piece so um, do that repair that and then when the roof is in so quarter panel roof and then once that's all done then the gutter is the very last piece to go on bit of a convoluted way of saying things but it sort of makes sense but the way that they've hacked the living snot out of this car um, because you remember it was cut through here and up through here and around there was like that sliver there was all that was left all of that was gone uh, so it's had to it's taken a bit of um brain power to rebuild this so uh, and yes I had to use rusty pieces but if you haven't got anything you're gonna have to start with rusty pieces and then repair them so at least it gets the structure back into it but it did add quite a lot of strength to it once that went back in so I'm going to, I'm going to use my English I'm gonna cut this out trim this up a little bit stick it in whirl it around and Bob's your uncle fans your aunt. See you in a second. It'll be a second for you guys. It'll be half hour for me. See you in a minute. I had a mild panic there. I thought the video had gone uh, corrupted and didn't work. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, anyway, so there we go. Looking lovely. It actually um, tapers down hill slightly. And I was able to weld that gap up and grind it down real nicely. So edge prime that and then we'll start making the other piece alrighty I'm fighting quite a bit of rain noise at the moment but um, so I skipped a few steps uh, so I've made the piece <laughs> cut it and then cut my piece out even bigger yeah that sounds crazy but um, I wanted to have round edges uh, and sometimes things don't go as round as I want them but the reason I tend to put round edges in, this is a handy hint for people, is if you have two areas joined together on a corner, the steel tends to bunch up quite a bit more than normal. Like it gets a high spot right in the corner because everywhere it welds it pulls. So say you had a, a, a right angle here, there, you, your steel is going to go this way and it's going to go this way and it'll... Oh, create quite a high spot but if it's a curve it is significantly less um, but obviously sometimes it's not all doable um, so getting there and the reason I also do top and bottom because this is a uh, quite a flat panel I want to pull a bit of tension into it um, and I know that if I weld at the top and I weld at the bottom that's when it obviously welds it's actually going to pull the steel together it's only a smidgen but it is enough actually you'll notice that say if you did it oh, let's just say you're putting this in you'll put a tack here depending on where you put it the panel will actually shift in that direction or vice versa so um, you've got to be mindful of sometimes you you put your patch in and then you go to weld it in and it's not in the same place it's because it's moved around because as you weld it it's shifting around so I want it to pull some tension into this panel which it's still it's actually done a pretty good job um, so I put a weld here and a weld here 
and it pulls those two together and I put a weld down here so I did one and then the other and it pulls tension so the more you do here and here the tighter that panel is going to get because it's being pulled at both ends um, so if it's tight there and it tight across here it's not probably going to have a bit of a dip or something going on here it's just unavoidable I mean probably I'll panel beat it a little bit afterwards but I guarantee that, that ends up with a, a dip in it I reckon I can just feel it in my loins about where that's going to go um, but all in all not too bad I've got to obviously there's going to be a bit of creative work going on down here and this needs to tap around a bit more but um, considering that how bad that was when it first turned up it's not looking too bad right now so I hope you can hear me through this and understand what the gibberish I'm on about but onward and upward and I will keep welding and I'll see you in a second alrighty not great but good enough there's a little bit of warpage here which I suspected but actually through there not bad not bad a little bit dip from when I put that piece on a little bit of a high there because this piece comes across here and there's about three joins right here but all in all not bad um, good enough for some filler later down the track uh, so uh, beggars can't be choosers and choosers can't be beggars <laughs> I have no idea how that works um, but anyway that's that I have a bit of a problem today that I didn't encounter at uh, my gas bottle for the Miguelda is not exactly full anymore so I don't know how far I'll get I might actually I got enough to do the plug welds through there so I'll do that uh, and I might have to stop welding and I might actually uh, whip out uh, some sort of tool and bare metal that quarter panel and then get the whole shoot and match and etch and then round out the video because I gotta I'm like gotta get a video out but I can't do a whole lot if the gas bottle runs out and it's Saturday so uh, the chance of getting another one is approximately carry the one zero um, also one thing to note when sanding bog primer old paint anything sanding it off a panel bloody wear a respirator because that you know, some people think oh no it's not that bad it's only bad when it's painting out well <laughs> anything that's not oxygen going in your lungs is bad for you so there's still bad stuff in here and when you're sanding it off and you're not wearing a mask you're still breathing it in so try and at least wear a dust mask when you're sanding old paint off um, or even bog you probably shouldn't be sanding bog either because there's bad stuff in the hardener that's in the bog you know and I see a few other um, YouTube channels and stuff out there doing that kind of stuff where you just catch them doing things without respirators and I'm like I don't know how long you're gonna have those lungs for if you keep doing that I mean everybody's done dodgy things in the past but paint works something you probably shouldn't um, cut too many corners with because it's pretty in the grand scheme of things it's not that good for you <laughs> anyway I mean smoking is not bad for you it's bad for you and people do that and so is vaping and people do that so I mean and so was drinking excessive amounts of alcohol that's bad for you everything's pretty much everything's bad for you it's just you know you gotta try and limit it a little bit <laughs> but yeah try and always wear a dust mask or something when you're sanding bog paint or primer or anything like that and always wear a respirator when you're painting because um, you only get one set of lungs I mean, some people get more but you know it's not that easy to replace anyway this is just a bit of a yeah reminder of things um, anyway I hope you like that repair that didn't turn out too bad I'm thinking I might do my plug welds and then we'll maybe round out with a nice little time lapse of uh, bad metaling that quarter panel I reckon what do you reckon not bad yeah
Well, that's not too shabby. Uh, you might go, hey, uh, why is that bit still green? Well, because I haven't quite got down that far. Duh. Uh, but I still need to do some welding here. And clearly some welding here. Duh. So I sort of wanted to leave that area alone until I'd finished it. And um, everywhere that I'd put um, etch, it's pretty much clean. Doesn't need any more work. Condensation, you mongrel. Gotta watch that occasionally. I'll check that in the future. Um, anyway, because the air compressor is pumping out a little bit of water, but you get that on big jobs. But that's not big. Eventually down the track, I'll just I'll rebare metal that quarter panel anyway. Um, now I wasn't using the method I like to use, but I was using a method that sort of works with the sander and the roll. Well, it's not really a roll lock, but I guess it is with just on a regular die grind, not a right angle one. Um, but those strip discs work beautifully. Um, so, I've run out of gas, uh, which means I won't be doing anything else today. Now next week, uh, I might be doing a video, uh, but I think the weekend after I'm in Cairns uh, at the Australian Armour and Artillery Museum because they have Oz Armour Fest going on, where they get out their tanks and run them around um, I think it might be the biggest museum in the Southern Hemisphere as far as military vehicles are concerned. Looking forward to that. Um, so that's what's on the agenda. I um, hope you liked the video and uh, it's moving right along. I might throw in at the end of this just a little reminder of what this looked like when it turned up. And a sneak peek if you've made it this far of where Peter Anderson's Bushwreck XA is at. That is actually making progress, believe it or not. Everything in good time. <laughs> so I'll see you around, chaps.